Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making something that is chocolate in amber and we're going to be using, I don't know how, but I, when I first pictured this up in my mind, I wanted to use hot pink and red and I was going to make the base black, but then I made these little chocolate pieces and they're brown and so, I mean, and chocolate's brown. So I'm going to go with the brown uh, and hope, All right, I hope this just turns out okay. I will not be putting the fragrance in the hot pink, I'll only be putting it in the red and the brown. I'm going to mix up my clay, oatmeal, oils, heavy cream. And add my lye solution, we are soaping at room temperature. This is aloe. Lye, Tessa Silk, Sodium, yeah, Sodium Hydroxide is Lye, Nicole, hello, Sodium Lactate. Same Lye solution every time. Okay. off some color here, the pink and the red, and the rest is going to be brown. I'm using a mocha brown from Nurture Soap, maybe if I could get it open. <laughs> it's fighting me. This is one of my favorite rounds. It is so pretty, especially Mountain Pour, guys. I mean, like, the shimmer on it is so beautiful in Mountain Pour. It loses it in the cold process, but it's still pretty pretty. Mm -hmm. I expect, because... It has been my experience that chocolate fragrances accelerate. Alright, so I'm going to go into the pink now. The fragrance. Okay. It almost all in there. Put a little bit in the red. Okay. Smells so good. Ugh, oh, so good. It's not a real chocolatey smell. It's, I mean, the chocolate is definitely there, but it's an after note for sure. Like the amber perfumey is the first note you smell. Okay, so what am I gonna do here? I was thinking about doing a drop swirl, but I think, I think I'm just going to do it in the pot. I did not mean for that to come out like that. Oh, I hope this looks good. If I could have made the base black, I know it would look fantastic, but then the chocolate part wouldn't. So let's just hope, huh? for the red. <laughs> I 
in a hot mess, guys. I don't know why I did that low. This right here is my very favorite measuring cup for soap. I don't like the long ones, the long spout ones. I love this cup. This barely has a little pour. I mean, I don't know. I just love it. Okay, guys. I have made a hot, hot mess. Alright, let's get this poured. Okay. Here's hoping, guys, that this doesn't look ridiculous. And by the way, not accelerating. It's just not accelerating. I, most fragrances that say chocolate anywhere near the title accelerate. It's a plop and drop situation usually, but this is not accelerating. It's actually very liquidy, so I will have to bring you back for the piping. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome back, and we are going to pipe chocolate amber. I hope it has been sitting and sitting and sitting for like an hour. Usually, chocolates go fast, but this one is not cooperating with me. So, it's going to be runnier than usual for sure. So I'm not going to be able to pile it up, but that's okay. Sorry about the lighting, I hope it's good. It's dark out. Usually soap in the daytime. Usually soap early, early in the day. But it's just been crazy. This one will be perfect for Valentine's Day, guys. And Wayne is going to make a soap. We're trying to decide what. I know he hasn't made one in a while. He wants to. He's really picky about molds. And He's trying to do those theme soaps, but... I'm having a hard time finding molds. Unique molds, that is. So, yeah. Alright guys, now I'm going to put on my bits. And I apologize, but I have to turn it. I have to be able to see it. I think... I think I'm going to do... Hot pink on one side on the other with a chocolate candy in the middle. That is the plan. Oh my. <laughs> ah, that's the plan, guys. That is the plan. Okay. Let me put all the pink ones in. And then all the red. And then we'll hopefully it'll set up a little bit more while we're doing this. For the chocolate ones. Sorry, 
times are quiet. I should probably think about things to talk about. Usually Wayne's so entertaining, right? But he's very busy. Very, very busy right now. Okay, let's see here. Now I'm going to do my reds. Ah, if you're new to my channel, by the way, I am ambidextrous. I don't know if I've ever told anybody that. I was born left-handed, but in the 70s, it was considered odd for some reason. And so the preschool I went to tried to make me right-handed. And they succeeded in some things. The doctors think that that's what caused my dyslexia, but I had a first grade teacher who helped me with that. So it hasn't been a problem in my life. But, yeah. When I hang clothes, people think I hang them backwards because I hang them left handed, I guess. <laughs> At least that's what they say. Okay. Let's see here. I'm trying to get... And I drink. I have a cup. Oh, Lord of mercy. Hang on, let me get a sec. You guys know me in the fight with embeds, huh? <laughs> well, I have a cup, you know, that has a handle on it. And I drink that left-handed. I primarily write right-handed, but I can do both if I have to. So, I know. I guess it's kind of good. If I break one arm, <laughs> I'm not out, right? <laughs> a hot mess here. I really am trying to bury the seams. Not really, I'm trying to just drop them. I don't know if you see me just dropping them. Because the seam. Oh, I hate it, Betsy, with my gloves. I hate them. Okay. I'm going to put some hot pink sea salt to try to tie all this together. I hope this isn't a mistake. <laughs> it's just sea salt with mica. That's all it is. Okay. Just trying to tie it all together. All right. Let's start with some silver. Oh. It really just started coming out all of a sudden. That's crazy talk. Okay. Because it's just not glittery enough, I'm going to put some iridescent on it. Oh, Lord. Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Yes, I like my glitter. But too much, I think. Too much. This one, I'm going to have to say probably too much. And I will give you guys a close-up. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, now I'll go the other way. Okay, guys. I will see you in a few seconds for the cut. Thank you so much for watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be cutting the chocolate amber. I'm so excited to see if this brown and the hot pink and the red all worked. So start with taking off an end here. Maybe a little bit more off of it. Okay. So far, so good. I'm liking it. You can't really see it on the camera. Let's see if, as we get in deeper, if it picks it up any better. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So glad that you're here. 
Man, if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. That camera is really not picking it up. It actually came out really good, guys. I think you have to be in person. Maybe the pictures will pick it up. It's a top. Anyway, if you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back. Please hit that subscribe button and the little bell will notify you of all my future videos. I really don't know why my camera's not picking it up. Because I'm actually really happy. So there's the red. And there's the hot pink. It actually came out really good with that brown. I didn't think it would. I was debating. And it smells so, so good, you guys. These are perfect for Valentine's Day. And I gotta flip it around because this soap wants to try me. These are perfect for... Valentine's Day, guys. Honey, can you please turn that down? I am so sorry, you guys. I don't know what he thinks he's in a movie theater. I don't know what he's doing. Oh. So a piece of chocolate just... I have got stings on this soap here. Okay. Cut a little bit of the other chocolate off, that's okay. It'll all work out in the end. Oh lord, soap really wants to dry me. So guys, I didn't do good with my in-bed placement. Oh, if you've been around for a while, you know that that happens to me. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I have marks and everything, and still, still, I can't get them on. <laughs> I blame the gloves. I blame the gloves. I should have been cutting this on its side because of the salts, but so far it has not really dried through. The salts are very fine ground, but still, I'm tempting fate here. <laughs> If you're not already following us on Instagram, that link is in the description box below along with the link to purchase any of our Bath & Body products. Come follow us on Instagram. We have a lot of fun over there. Not that we don't have fun here, because we really do. We really do. Alright, let's see here. Got to find a way to get this baby. There we go. And the final piece. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be right back with the stamping. Oh my gosh, I just... So the salt didn't dig in. Look what I just done with my nail. It's okay. When it's fresh like this, you can fix it right up. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. We'll be right back. Romantic amber. No. Or chocolate amber. Sorry, chocolate amber. What she said. Isn't that kind of cool? I don't know what she tried to pull off there, but it looks like hot some, pink and red. No, I know, I just. Brown. Some cool. Okay. Before. And then you will see after when I get done stamping it. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can see me. There you go. I hope I don't. See, I have this upside down, so I'm hoping that I don't stamp it upside down. Be like, what is CS? It's so if I wouldn't say CS because it would be upside down, it would just be weird. I know. Okay. Wife's like, just do it, honey. Quit playing with the glitter. But I'm having fun with it. <laughs> oh, that's important. I know, right? Come on out. You went too deep. I know. I'm sorry. Oh crud. Yes, I did. I gotta. I gotta. Uh, what do they call that? Film. I gotta fix the film, but I'm fixing the soap. <laughs> okay. Probably see the flume of gold flake. 
They can't, but I sure can. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, we're almost done with this second one. Or the, the, uh oh. You did it again. Yes, I did. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty. A little bit. Oh, sorry guys. There we go. All right. Woohoo! All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.